Hi, I'm Jennifer Borden. I'm an attorney with Borden Consulting Group in Boston. I think we need to continue to watch the rollout of RUPA bills, or bills that claim to be RUPA that don't actually contain all of the protections that we fought for. We really need to be very observant of what's going on in audits as well, and it's maybe not traditionally a legal issue for an audit, but there are so many legal issues that come up during the exam that I think we really need to be on the lookout for that. When it comes to an audit, and we are seeing so many of them today, my personal belief is if you fail to plan, you can plan to fail. I like to know what I have in front of me at the outset. I want to know any issues before the auditors do. So basically anything the auditors are asking, before they get the answers, I want to make sure I know and my client knows what all of the actual statutes say, what the regulations say, what the state has done in practice before we get into the exam because we have to make sure that we're protecting the clients and not just assuming that the auditors are using the right standard. And we have seen that a lot in the last couple of years where their interpretations may not exactly line up with what the statutes actually require. But I would like to get the process started, start outreach, start communication to owners so that any account that looks like it would be a red flag, I've figured it out first and I've initiated some contact with the shareholders. In the past, because we didn't have a whole lot of precedent, we saw holders and, and owners who really acquiesced to what the states were saying and what the auditors were saying. And I think now with all the litigation we've had, people aren't afraid to fight. So if something doesn't feel right, I would not be afraid to say no, even if that may lead to litigation. I think there can be some really good results and we'll have some finality once and for all around some of these issues because they don't just affect one holder, they affect us all and eventually they trickle down to the owners, the shareholders our customers, our clients, our friends. So I think don't be afraid to speak up.